this is Mr. T. Uh, another example on derivatives using the limit process. Uh, in this one, we're going to have one that has a fraction, so we will have to simplify complex fractions as part of the process. The definition of the limit process to find a derivative is shown here. We have to evaluate f of x plus h minus f of x over h, and then take the limit of that as h approaches 0. So if we work on figuring out first what f of x plus h minus f of x over h is, if we come over here to our process, we are going to have f of x plus h is going to be that minus f of x all over h. We have fractions here, so we need to add those two fractions together by getting a common denominator. So I have to multiply this fraction by the denominator over here. And I have to multiply this one by this other denominator. same thing. So the product of those two factors will be the common denominator. So on the top, the bottom, the denominator is going to be those two factors. On the top we need to distribute and distribute this minus. So I'm now going to get 12x plus 3 and now I'm going to turn that into negative 3 so I have negative 3 times 4 is 12. And I'm going to go ahead and distribute there too. So I'm doing two straight distributes at 1. I'm distributing there to make that to be 12. And then I'm distributing that 12 into here. So I get minus 12x. And negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 times h. So I get negative 12h. And then I still have to distribute this negative 3 times that 1. So we get minus 3. That is over our common denominator. And that whole thing is over h. On the top now we can combine like terms. And so we now have negative 12h over our common denominator. And that's over h. And I'm going to turn that into a fraction. We now have a complex fraction. So we can get rid of the fraction on the bottom by multiplying the numerator by our reciprocal of that. So again, we change division of h to multiplication of 1 over h. That allows us to cancel our h here. And our simplified part, now this is without the limit, is negative 12 over 4x plus 1 times 4 times x plus h plus 1. Now to find the derivative, if I move up here, kind of do this and kind of instead of rewriting everything, I've got f prime of x is going to equal the limit as h approaches 0 of that. To do the limit, we're going to put 0 in for this h here. So that's going to now give me negative 12 on the top, and on the bottom I've got 4x plus 1. Here, that h becomes 0, so that's just x, so I have another 4x plus 1. And we can finally simplify that by multiplying those and using exponents, so our final answer is negative 12 over 4x plus 1 quantity squared. And that answer there is the derivative of our original function. I hope this helps. Thank <laughs> you.